Hey, Trevor Alexander here with Burn Saddlery, and today for our shop talk how-to, we're going to build a valet tray. So let's jump right into it. So for today's project of a valet tray, we're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and a inch and a half half round, some supple leather like this bison we have here, and some skirting leather for the middle that's a little bit more stiff, and we're gonna need a maul. Let's get started. We're gonna take a piece of paper, we're gonna fold it, and eighths. Just like that. For our valet tray, we're going to do about five inches. Maybe six. We'll do six inches. And then we're going to take our inch and a half half round. And we're going to lay it right on this inside corner. So you can see when we fold everything out, that will be on the on the corner. We'll take our red board here. And we'll put that right on our mark there. We're gonna come off that point just with a nice swoop and right over to the side there. Okay. So now we have that and we're gonna measure down an inch right here, right at the the middle of that B that we have there. And we're gonna cut all that up. Let's get this traced out onto a piece of leather. And for this bottom piece, we want something nice and supple. I have some bison here that still has enough rigidity to keep it shape, but it's really soft and supple as well. Put our weight down so things don't move around on us. We're gonna make sure we go all the way to the bottom of that mark there. I'm gonna trace this out. We're gonna go over to the red board again right here. And we're gonna get all of our corners with this. So the rest of it, we're gonna cut out with this head knife. And we'll get these inner slits. Now we're gonna measure between these points here, the inside of our slit. So we are at seven three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna take our piece of skirting leather. We're gonna make a seven and three quarters inch square. Now we'll cut that out with the head knife. And then you can decorate this piece however you want. So I'll get this decorated how I want it and we'll be right back. Now that everything's decorated how we like, I did add a stitch groove here. Um, you'll need to stitch it to the valet tray. You want to edge both sides. We're going to go ahead and we're going to finish off the edges. I'm just going to wet the, the edges with some water here. Okay. And we'll slick the edge just a little bit and then knock down some of those fibers. And then we're just going to use a, a dye pen here. Gonna dye that edge. And we're gonna go ahead and slick that edge one more time with the dye on it. So now we're gonna take our valet tray and we're gonna take our square and from point to point, we are gonna mark a light line. Now we're gonna glue the back side of our decorative piece and we're gonna glue inside that square. Try not to get glue on your edge and just try and make the glue nice and thin, but a nice even coat. Then it's not crucial to get right up to the line. In fact, I'm gonna stay probably half inch off the line. That way I don't risk the, the glue showing on the other side of the line. Everything spread nice and even. 
Now we'll let that sit up for a couple minutes and once it's nice and tacky, we'll stick it down. So our glue's all set up now. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this. Make sure we line everything up real good. Now we'll take it over to the sewing machine and sew it all up. Now I'm just gonna pinch these together like that, and then I'm gonna punch a hole for my rivet to go through right in the middle. This is just a number one hole punch. Okay, so we got all of our rivets in it and this is our completed valley tray. Make sure you check out Shop Talk's YouTube channel for our monthly how-to.